lasers sound like the stuff of science fiction, right? Sound completely unbelievable. How could our military possibly be using those in future warfare? Guess what? We've just had a recent breakthrough, more great test results that are making lasers a reality. So it's called Athena. Lockheed Martin makes it, and they've been doing a lot of the pioneering in this laser field. Now, what's really exciting about it is that it's so hard to harness that much power and make it compact enough that it's actually going to make practical sense downrange. And they've proven that they can do that. Uh, recently, uh, they tested it against five moving drones, so realistic drones that they might go up against, with, uh, you know, enemy forces might send against us, for example, uh, or terrorists might send against us. Uh, and it successfully shot down all five of the drones. This is huge news because it means that in a realistic practical setting it's looking very promising so it could be ready to field quite soon. So when you see the movies or you look at comic books or television shows when you see the laser weapons they tend to be a color right red or green or something like that. Uh, real lasers one of the key advantages that they provide is that they are invisible you actually can't see them you just see this damage suddenly starting to blow something up. Uh, so if we take a look now at what the Athena did to a truck so we're looking at a truck engine and the Athena within seconds was able to beam right in there, heat the whole thing up, and burn through the engine of this vehicle. So if you can imagine if you were in that vehicle, all of a sudden, this hole would start appearing in your engine, and the whole thing would just disappear. That's what these lasers do. Now, there's some other key advantages that we should mention. Let me give you three of them. One, unlimited ammo. As long as we have power, we have an unlimited magazine. And downrange, of course, having unlimited ammo can be a huge advantage. Second, it's silent. We don't give the enemy any advance warning that it's coming. And then the third one I wanted to touch on is that it travels at the speed of light. So not only are we delivering powerful, 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 decisive effects, lethality, we're also doing it so rapidly they don't know what hit them. So if you could circle back to that example of being in the car again, that would happen so instantaneously within seconds, you truly would have no idea what was happening. It would just suddenly start disintegrating, right? So what can we use these against? So we talked about the vehicle a bit. We talked about how Athena has just proven itself against drones. But in the real world application, our forces could use it against the drones. We could use it against aircraft. Uh, we could use it against vehicles on the ground, like we mentioned. Uh, we could also use it against fast attack boats. And in fact, Athena's sibling, Adam, a couple years ago, proved that it could eliminate these fast attack boats. So if you imagine boats start trying to swarm one of our ships, not a problem for this laser burns right through the hull. As you can see right there, it's burning right through the hull. I'm incredibly excited about this news, this great news about the successful testing of Athena, because it means that we'll be putting these powerful weapons soon. We could put them in the hands of our warfighters and give them even more powerful weaponry uh, to keep themselves safe and also to deliver the effects that we need. They can be used, laser weapons can be used offensively and of course defensively too to help protect our homeland. Think of our airports that might be under threat uh, from enemy drones. They could be used to protect our, we could use them statically and used to protect our airports. They could be used to protect our power grid, our, our nuclear plants. So there's lots of different exciting applications for this technology. There's no longer science fiction, but science fact.